This video is brought to you by Poltergeist, a privacy coin exchange. Banking has been around since the first currencies were created, perhaps as early as 1800 BC. The idea of a bank first came about when empires needed a way to pay for foreign goods and services. Instead of paying with, let's say, three pigs and a cow, they needed something easier to exchange. This birthed the currency of coins. They were made from various metals, like silver and copper, and all parties agreed they held a certain value. However, these coins needed to be kept in a safe place. Ancient homes did not have fireproof safes, obviously. Therefore, most wealthy people held their coins at the local temples. People like priests or temple workers, which everyone trusted to be devout and honest, always occupied the temples, adding a sense of security. Historical records from Greece, Rome, Egypt, and ancient Babylon suggest that temples also loaned money out, in addition to keeping it safe. Since coins are easier and more practical to hoard than, let's say, donkeys and horses, these wealthy individuals who held their coins at the temples would also lend out their coins to the needy, while charging a bit of interest. The fact that temples also served as financial centers were a major reason that they were ransacked during wars. The Romans were the first to institutionalize banking by moving it from temples to designated buildings. They then backed the banks by the full power of the law. The law was certainly on the side of the bankers in the early days, treating non-payments of debts as a crime. Julius Caesar gave banks the power to seize land and property of citizens upon non-payment of debts. This implementation along with other powers of the law were fundamental in allowing banks as institutions to become both secure and profitable. As commerce expanded, innovation played its part and bills of exchange were created as a means to avoid carrying coins and large treasure chests around. Money changers at merchants issued documents redeemable at other merchants in exchange for hard currency. With local and international finance available for trade, both commerce and those that controlled finance largely prospered. At the time, banking mostly consisted of two types, private banking for the wealthy and commercial banking for trade. Fast forward to the modern century where banking became available to ordinary households. Banks have come a long way from the temples of the ancient world, but their basic business practices and reasons for existence have not changed. They provide safety and security through trust and accountability. What is changing rapidly is how customers interact with their bank, specifically in the last 50 years. With the invention of credit cards, ATMs, mobile banking, and what seems like instant loan approvals for everyone, it's almost essential for citizens to have a bank account in developed countries. The future of banking remains unclear. With the rapid development of technology and the introduction of cryptocurrency, we are beginning to see that ordinary households can store their money securely without the need for trust and accountability. During the recent revolution of DeFi, we've seen that people can put down collateral to receive loans without using any banks. Blockchain solves the age-old problem of trust that is the inherent foundation of how money and national currencies operate. You trust that this $20 bill is worth $20 because the government says it's worth $20. If a country eventually collapses like the Roman Empire, this $20 will turn into a worthless piece of paper. Just have a look at the Venezuelan Bolivar. Without the need for trust, the value of a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin can be determined by the users, truly giving power back to the people. We will no longer need to rely on the governing authorities to regulate our currency with unlimited money printing and inflation. If you're looking for a secure and anonymous way to trade your crypto, check out the Poltergeist Exchange. They're on a mission to change the way value is transferred and traded online. Newly launched on January 31st, they focus on privacy coins and work extra hard to protect your anonymity. With low trading fees, you can trade freely and privately from anywhere around the world.